hey fellas this is jagbir singh and as there are so many requests from my subscribers to design a rcc multi story building from the beginning to the designs um, parameters and everything so here is the video uh, before we start the video i want to make a humble request whoever is watching this tutorial please hit the like button if you like and if you have any feedback you please uh, right one or wrong one you can give into the uh, comment section and please do not go before subscribing this channel for more cool videos so whenever you are subscribing the channel there is a small bell icon please hit that bell icon so that whenever there is a new video from my side you get a notification and you do not miss any video from my channel so we are making a multi story rcc building and we will be discussing each and every step in detail so first of all we have to manipulate with our grid so i am using my xg plane and spacing is 5 meter each and uh, first of all we have to create our plan for my beams so i am starting like this you can create your own plan it's up to you the method is same use your control button to manipulate so these are my columns uh, these are my beams so i want to create the columns so for that you select your nodes by node cursor and go for transitional repeat as uh, the height of each floor is 3 meter so i want to give minus 3 here in y direction number of step 1 and length steps so here are my columns so the next thing which i want to do is i want to make a multi story building so let's say we are making a 10 story building so for that you select your beams and columns like this and go for transitional repeat and each of my floor is having 3 meter height and uh, i want to make 10 floors so 10 is here go for link steps and that's how we do it so this is your building so as you know it is just an arrangement of the nodes we haven't defined any specification to it so for that we are going to general and we are going to define the columns and beam specification so as i want to take my columns to be circular shaped and the specification for them is 0.75 meter and the material i am going to choose is concrete add and the second thing my uh, beams are rectangular so my beams are of 0.5 and 0.75 meters with the same concrete material so now i am going to assign my columns so for that go for select beams parallel to y and so, sorry being parallel to y and assign to selected beams now for my rectangular is for my beams select beams parallel to z and assign to selected beams so if you want to see the 3d rendered view so you can go for this one now again it looks like this even if you want to give some shot of now you can see the rectangular and the circular one if you want to give some kind of uh, color coding to differentiate right click and go for change entity color so let's say if i want to make red colored so it can be red it's up to you even if you want to take a picture for your documentation go for take a picture and give 
a name and ID or whatsoever just for your documentation purpose so again I'm going to change the NKT color to light gray for beams now I'm coming back to my model I have to assign some I have to make some plates so for that uh, for my slabs there is already a video on my youtube channel uh, on this particular one uh, in depth video for slab design so if you want to see you can see it and we are going to quickly make some slabs so for that select beams parallel to x and beam parallel to z direction and hit this button you see 121 new plates are created so if you want to assign thickness then you can simply go for thickness and for my plate thickness I want to give as let's say 0.175 and concrete is the material as it is of RCC so select and uh, go for plate cursor and select all of your plates and assign to the selected plates now you can go for again rendered view now you see these are the plates which we created right click entity color and I want to make them dark concrete color gray so now here it is it looks like this so now now we have to create some supports so for supports you can go for support section and create fixed one yes and orient your model like this and go to isometric view and yes assign so now we assigned the support to a multi-story building so now is the time to assign some loads and for that we are going to load and definition and create load case details at and we are going to give dl as the title for my dot dead load case and in this i want to assign add a self weight in minus y direction with the factor one so add and assign to view now I want to create some more definitions like I want to create member loads which is because of the walls and uh, let's say minus 5 in GY direction for that you can select your beams parallel to X beams parallel to z direction and assign to selected beams now you can see the direction shows it is acting downwards okay now there is one more load we want to apply onto our building and this is my plate load i'm sorry floor load and this is minus five again and the range as i told you my building is let's say let me show you again if i orient is like this from the bottom to the top it is 33 meter so again i'm going for load load and it is minus 5 and the y range the maximum range you can say let's say 33 or 30 if you want to give I want to give it 30 close it will be automatically applied now you can go for analysis and print then we will move to design part so I'm going to add close and go for run analysis the 
there are few warnings and we are going to post processing mode yes for that now you can see different different values are there for plates and everything so now we are going for design part so you can either go for uh, uh, this modeling part again and go for command and go for design and concrete design or whatsoever but there is a shortcut you can simply go for this tab and you can choose which type of design concrete or steel so here i'm going for concrete design and uh, at this particular column you have to choose which design code you want to use so for this particular one i'm going to choose is456 and the parameters here are three tabs out of them you have to choose one by one first we are i'm going to select the parameters so select parameters i want to choose compressor strength of concrete and yield strength of main re reinforcement so okay then i'm going to define them my fc is let's say i'm choosing the concrete grade as 25000 kilonewton per meter square and fy main is let's say 415 triple zero kilonewton per meter square for slabs it is the reinforcement used in both the directions so close now i want to use some command i want to design the beam yes add it design the column yes design the slab yes i want to design and i want to take the takeoff also so now we have to assign these commands so i want to assign it to view and the same goes for the reinforcement assign to view and go for design beam for design beam you can go for the beam selection select beams parallel to x select beam parallel to z and assign to selected beams assign the same goes for the column but this time you have to choose only beams which are parallel to y axis as they are columns so assign to beams yes and for slabs use your plate cursor and select your all the slabs assign to selected plates yes and then you can again go for analyze Uh, there are few warnings we are knowingly skipping them and we can go for output file and we can simply go for result and go for concrete design now you can see this is my concrete design uh, for beam number one design result is these are the parameters which we given length is this size this the cover is this section top reinforcement and each and every detail you can see here so i am you can watch it shear design result each and every center to center distance each and every information is here so let's go to the take off data this is the required steel area required concrete area is this one in square mm main reinforcement provided this is the dia size each and everything now there are few more information here i want to show you this area so total volume of the concrete for this particular building is this one 129 3.8 cubic meter bar dias are different different bar dias and what is the weight you can see here what is the total uh, requirement of my steel so this is the video so if you uh, like this video please hit the like button and please share it with your friends on facebook or any social media through whatsapp or whatsoever and please make sure Uh, you subscribe this channel and whenever you are subscribing please hit this uh, 
uh, bell icon so that you never miss any video from my end and there are lots of uh, uh, videos on my channel you can watch them there is a uh, there are more than 26 videos so i cover every topic and if you feel any uh, requirement of ha help from my side on one particular topic you can write it down into the comment section or you can mail it there is uh, my mail description in my channel so this is jagbir singh signing off for today jai india jai bharat